Hey guys, we just want to do a quick unboxing of this guy right here. So let's just take a look around the box first of all, just in case you guys missed anything or any information that's missing from the website where you guys are getting this from. Uh, this is available through Amazon, for example. I think you can get it through eBay. I'm not 100% sure. Anyways, let's just open this up and take a look. All right, so for what I can see, this is really small. Really, really small. So that's really great. It's not gonna take up too much space. And right here, we can see what we have to download. So I will show you guys right away what we need to download and how to set this up. We're gonna do it really fast. But here's the user manual, which you won't need since you have this video to watch. So anyways, let's just get started. We're gonna take a look at the back first of all. So this right here is so you can hang it, obviously. Now to get started, we don't have to take this out. So we'll take that out in a second. Now this is just a protector. So let's take that off for now. We can check this out. Again, it's pretty small, pretty light. It's not gonna take up that much space at all, which is really great. Now around it, I'm just gonna show you right around. This is how it looks like. That's the top. That's the only button that we have. Now this side, we have nothing, nothing, nothing. And then the back, we just have this. So we got some information on the back. All right, so let's get started with setting this up. So first of all, we do have to take this out. That will turn it on. However, something that we have to look at the back is this. So you guys see this gap right here? That means we can actually open this up like so. And then in the back, you're gonna see the battery. So that's the battery that you need. It's a triple A battery. So once this runs out, you can do that. And we can actually take this out. So this is the stand. So if you just shake this down, you will be able to take this out. Again, this is just a stand. How does this work? Well, it's pretty easy. We can just put it right here. And then we can just put this on top. That's if we want the stand and we want to make this stand up like this. All right. So obviously on a flat surface, we can make it stand. And that's how we would look. However, this stand, you don't need it. You could just put some double-sided tape here and tape it against wherever you want. Or there's this right here, which I would suggest more than just taping it um, for a screw, for example, against your wall. But for now, in my case, a stand would do just fine. We're gonna close this up and we're kind of ready for the setup. Now, what we want is this to be with Bluetooth. And that's just to make things easier for us and with the whole setup. But right now you may notice, uh, this is it. I mean, that's what we can see right away. It's in Fahrenheit. You can change it to Celsius as well. And we're gonna look through everything. So we're just gonna leave this right here for now. And we're gonna go into our device. So it can be an iPhone, iPad, Android, Samsung. And from there, for example, we're just gonna go right into our app store. In our app store, we're just gonna look for that app. So the app that we're looking for, it's called, let me just type it up here. Let me just put this on the side. And we're gonna type in Gove. So as soon as you type in Gove, it looks like this, Gove Home. So we're just gonna download it, just press get. It is a free app. How long will this download take? Well, it shouldn't take that long because it's a pretty small download. Let me just tap on the app so you guys can see exactly how big this is. Right now it's telling me that it's only 104 megabytes. So that's on top of here. It is going through pretty fast. As long as you guys have the newest iOS, this should work just fine. However, we can see exactly what it's compatible with. So down here below, we can see that it does require iOS 9 or later. Well, iOS 9.3, not just iOS 9. So as long as you guys have something like that, you should be good to go. Most, not all, but most older devices are at least in iOS 9. Now this should be yeah, good to go, so we can open this up. So let's just open up the app and allow that. Now I want this bigger screen so you guys can see it. I'm just gonna tap, 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 and make this bigger for you guys. There we go, finally. So we're gonna accept that. And at this point in time, we just have to tap on the top right hand corner. We're gonna see that. And here it's gonna tell us exactly what we're looking for. So down here below, we should see home improvement. Just select home improvement then scroll down. And then we're gonna see H5102. That's the right one that we have to select. So select that. Now you can connect without logging in or you can log in. So to log in, you have to create an account. So I'm actually gonna show you that really fast how to log in. So let's just go and say create account. That's on the bottom right down here. We're gonna see create account. And from here, just type in your email. 
From here, we're supposed to get our verification email. So just go right into your email. It's gonna look something like this. And from there, you're gonna have a different number than me. Mine's 3520. Once you put that in, it's gonna take you here to create a password. So create one that's not too difficult, but difficult enough for not people not to guess it so easily. So once you created your account, you're just gonna go into this screen right away. And it's gonna ask you to access your Bluetooth. Obviously you have to, so you have to allow that. And from there, we can see our device. That's the closest one, just right there. So we're gonna select that and it's gonna go ahead and connect. So as long as you guys have this close enough to your other device, you should be okay. So this is connecting this guy up to our iPad. Be the same thing, whether it's an iPhone or Android. So right now, device name, smart thermometer, which is fine. I'm gonna keep it as is done. Then from here, we're gonna see this. So it's a lot better if you do this than just use it as is. That's a good thing about these guys that are Bluetooth, because we can do a lot with it. We can even view this in Celsius. So you could view it in both ways. And that's not really a problem. You can view day, week, month, year. But anyways, we just started this. So obviously it's gonna be just hourly. It's just gonna take a little bit of time. Well, not a little bit of time, but just a few seconds to actually calibrate. As you guys could see, it started here, then went all the way up here, and then it just started to calibrate. So we're gonna leave that happening. Other than that, as long as you have your Bluetooth turned on, do not have this in power safe mode, for example, any device you guys have, you should be all right with the whole setup. That's how it works. That's how this looks like. Anyways, that would be it for this video right here. If you have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.